Well, hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for the 9th of July, the 9th of July. So welcome for all who are joining me. I wanted to take a couple of minutes. Good evening, Deb. I wanted to take a couple of minutes and, and just remind us, hey, Kendra and Pat, Miss Keisha, I hope you got my text, Keisha. Um, I just want to remind us that we have two options in life. And who's this we I'm talking about? I'm talking about all of us, all of us. I say often that I'm only talking to people who really want to grow and stretch and become the best version of themselves. And that is true. I'm, I'm really not trying to waste my energy or time or, or effort on um, people who are content and just satisfied to stay where they stay and, and you know, they, they are content with where they are. Ooh, thank you, Deb. <laughs> but this, what I'm talking about right here, applies to everyone, change or else. And I started to say change or die because I think it's just that serious. And, and again, it applies to all of us, whether you're talking individually, your person, the company you work with, the company you work for, um, the churches, the synagogues that you work with, the outlets, the families across the board. If we are not willing to recognize that everything changes, everything changes. And those that survive and continue to thrive recognize that and get with the program. I, I mean, I, I just did a, a stroll down memory lane and a search even through last year my mother used to work at um well she used to work at montgomery ward and there used to be a store back home in georgia called belks belks does not exist anywhere montgomery ward is not in function right now toys r us after having to close all of their us based stores they don't exist i used to sh radio shack was a favorite some of you, depending on your age, you haven't even, even heard of a Radio Shack. Obviously, you know, the the videos and the eight track cartridges and, you know, um, so many things that we were used to and, and we loved them. And we, we I always shopped at, at uh, Nine West. I love those, those, guess what, Nine West, gone. My whole point in this, and again, thank you for all who are joining me. My whole point in this is we can look around and think that something is too good or too great or too big to fall off, and we do ourselves a disservice. Even if, well, I don't want to change because, you know, what, what I have is solid and, you know, my, okay, even if your foundation doesn't change, even if your values do not change, the presentation of them, the way we think. You know, if you're so used to doing everything, oh good, you got some radio show, oh you had them. Yeah, we had them over here too. <laughs> um, it, even if you're so used to doing things, you know, off the cuff and happenstance because it was just habit for you and you were very good at what you did so you never had to plan, you never had to be strategic in your thought. If you do not change, if you do not learn new skill sets, if you do not um, get a greater and bigger and wider view of the world, because before, whereas you were competing just with your neighbor, you still got some belks in Texas and Louisiana. Wow. Okay, good. Okay, so 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 Nine West is still alive. I'm glad I got to go to Texas to get some Nine West. But they had to change their structure. They don't look the way they used to. It's still in a department store, so it's another model. Okay, but they at least had to, for survival, they had to recognize and say, okay, we let things go on too long. We're going to have to get bought out. And guess what? With that, you got another master. And the whole point behind this is if we are not willing to continue growing and changing and learning and learning and stretching, we will be one that changes so much 
we're unrecognizable from our original source or we will just disappear and the thing with that is it is never it is never just you involved if you are the only one looking around and oops my bad and oh wow you know dad i gotta take an l on that one if that were the case then okay you grown start again the reality is that others are always affected welcome danny avocado to periscope others are always others others lives others thoughts other hopes others dreams are always impacted or affected and so it's just imperative that as we continue this growth journey you recognize change is inevitable and you know most of the time it's not the fact that people don't want things to change we don't want to change we don't want to get uncomfortable okay so Belks is alive and well in Texas. I'm so glad, but guess what? They used to be nationwide. I hope they're not struggling in Texas. Okay. Because we don't want anyone to lose. We don't want people to lose. I don't want people to lose when, when all you had to do was not be afraid of the change, not be afraid of the new direction that you're going to take. You not being afraid of the fact that um, others need to come in, other thoughts, others um, ways of doing things, others experiences. When we talk about diversity, it's not just racial or ethnic, religious diversity. It's diversity of thought, diversity of experiences. I've come from a certain mindset. I'm going to bring that to the table. You already don't have that amongst your table. Welcome in the change. Welcome the change or else you suffer the repercussions. And I promise you, you alone will not be impacted. It's all and everyone else um, around you and surrounding you. Okay, so, so that's my admonition. There are areas of your life where you know you need to shore them up. You need to tighten them up. You need to expand and welcome in new thoughts, different thoughts. You need to get up and go look out and see how others are doing things. And I'm, again, I'm not talking about changing your, your foundational values, what you truly believe in, your principles. You don't have to change those. The layering over how you present things, how you how you devise, how you welcome in new um, new products, even all of that has to change your customer base. Your customer base has changed, and I don't care what business in you're in. We all have customers. We all have customers, even if you are only seeking self-improvement and you're not taking this into the other areas of your life, your profession, your spirit, your finances, your relationships, your health. Even if you are only seeking your self, uh, self-development. Oh, diversity of mind. Okay, Miss Keisha. So, so even if you're only going with your personal development and personal growth, you still have a customer base because you do not live on an island. And especially if you um, are surrounded by others, if you have the privilege of leadership to lead a team, to lead a company, to lead an organization, to lead a church, to lead a school, a classroom, it is imperative that we get up and see what else is going on and recognize our customers have changed. They've changed. If we're going to continue serving them, if we're going to continue to help them, to bridge them, to bring them along, we got to get with the program and not be afraid of the change. Even when we recognize, I can't see it like I used to see it. It's, I, I don't know what's happening. That, that, that um, discomfort of not knowing. Okay, just start walking. Just start walking, start moving. It become clearer with every action step you take. Please do not get stuck. Please do not get stuck. You are not immune to disappearing. Okay. You're just not immune to that. Well, we've been here for 50 years. We're not going anywhere. Hmm. I beg to differ. Okay. Even your marriages, even your child rearing practices. Good morning, mother. 
<laughs> and Anna. Anna. So that is what my, my offering to you is. That is my admonition. Change or die. And not talking the values, but everything that layers over that foundation, you might want to strongly start considering it before you have no options. Okay. That is what I am offering to you today. If I can help you in your change process as a change agent, um, please, please feel free to look me up. And until next time, take real good care of yourselves.